guys, Chad Oxen of all, both, both Theme Park News, and oh, welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update from Furevik in Sweden. We're going to be talking about their 2020 new attraction, their new family coaster manufactured by Ziera, coming to the site of the Lila Bird Banan, the Wacky Worm coaster that's been removed um, after years of operation. We're going to be talking about all the details, the stats, and also my thoughts on the theme and name and logo, which we'll be sharing on your screen throughout this video. So, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video. And now let's zoom into the video. So this is from Furevik in Sweden. Now we talked about in a separate news update, the Lila Bird Banar, which is their wacky worm roller coaster. That's been removed after years of operation. That site's been completely open. And now we have the news on the new attraction replacing the coaster. It is going to be another coaster replacing another coaster. Confusing, I know. Uh, and this coming into the park for the 2020 season, for the start of the 2020 season. So, we've got an official description from the park's website, but before we talk about all that, we've got some contact art to share with you, or was I say, a logo to share with you for the ride on your screen now. And as you can see already there, the name of the coaster is Draken. It's Swedish for Dragon. Um, it's, that name's been used a lot, Dragon, but I like the sound of it, Draken. Uh, you can see the Oriental theme style they're going for with this one. So the website officially states, This spring, the mysterious and majestic Draken is flying into the park, a flying ride for the whole family. Draken is a roller coaster that creates stomach irritation for both small and large guests. Draken premieres May 16th when the park opens for the season. Now this has a height of 4.5 metres, a length of 128 metres, a top speed of 30 kilometres per hour, a capacity of 12 people per ride, and of course, like I said earlier, it is manufactured by Ziera, a German manufacturer. So, as you can see already on your screen, that logo is very Oriental style, so I think, you know, Sweden have got some big competition in the world of theme parks. You've got your, your Grona Lund, your Leesburg, your Karl Mardens, obviously with their RMC Wildfire, again, a bucket list coaster, along with some of the Leesburg and Grona Lund ones. Can't wait for that being an inverted Grona Lund in a couple of years' time. But, Furevik have got some competing to do. They've done really well. Obviously, they have three coasters in the line. Oh, the Wacky Worm removal takes it down to two, so this will bring it back up to three again. Uh, of course, Furevik's most thrilling coaster is their Vekoma Family Boomerang uh, Fireball, which they introduced back in 2017, around 2017. Uh, so, only three years without a coaster is very, very impressive. Um, so, I, I know this is like on the Family Kiddie Coaster borderline, but... Like I said, I don't mind. I really don't mind. So, um, you know, I feel like this is still going to be a, a very strong project. And I feel like Furevik are going to do a really good job with this. Now, in terms of that Oriental theme, do I see it being spread uh, to sort of around different areas and things like that? And do I see that uh, sort of surrounding area become a bit of an Oriental plaza, mini plaza kind of thing? I hope so. I really do hope so, with this being a family coaster. Family coasters are usually the best for theming, or kiddie coasters are the best for theming. Uh, you look at Octonauts at Alton Towers, you look at the Roller Coaster Adventure co um, right there, Octonauts Roller Coaster Adventure in CBeebies Land, you look at how that was themed very nicely to like with the, the, the reef theming. Uh, look at Max and Moritz, the concept art for that kiddie coaster from Matt Rides at F Telling next year. That's themed very nicely using the old station from the Bob Ride, the Bobsled Coaster that's closed now, so. Um, you know, that's themed very nicely. Uh, the Kitty Coaster, the Bar R Express, uh, the, uh, the island section at Europa Park, that's themed beautifully uh, for kids. So I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, with this being Ziera and not Mac, I'm hoping this still, I'm hoping with the theming, etc., and the sort of overall look of the coaster, I'm hoping it'll be no different with thematization of the coaster. So that's just addresses some of my concerns with this. But overall, I think I'm very excited. This could be a great attraction for kids, a great attraction for families, uh, and I'm really excited to see this coaster going up. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Furevik in Sweden. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow Coop, living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.